Hi, Gemini. It's Kendrick with Providence Tarot, and I'm coming to you with your April 15th through the 30th, so this is a two-week span, uh, weekly proofread, okay? So here we go. We're going to flip over the first card. Ooh. Ten of Cups. This is good. This is Mars and Pisces, Gemini. So, you know, Pisces is talking about compassion and unconditional love, creativity, imagination, submersive energy, right? So you could be submer submerging yourself or immersing yourself in some sort of creative expression because the tens are definitely talking about expression. Uh, the sun is talking about expression. Uh, Jupiter is talking about the growth, right? Growth patterns. So these could be the growth of feelings, okay? The intensity of feelings, the growth patterns that are, uh, you know, uh, that, tr that feelings are triggering. So feelings could be triggering these growth patterns here, all right? And also, um, you know, Mars is talking about the awareness of the action or the awareness of the self. And this is like the awareness of how I feel, right? The awareness of all of the different feelings that I have that are sort of connect, uh, connected or wrapped up in this ball. You know, this is kind of like... Um, just kind of seeing something or seeing your being very aware of how you feel about something, you know, and it's kind of like you've gotten a lot of opportunities to make these different connections to determine this. Right. Because the tens are talking about a determination of sorts. The tens are related to the 10th house of Capricorn, which is talking about the work and the effort. So this could be talking about the work and the effort that it's taking to show compassion or to show the unconditional love or to show yourself the compassion or the unconditional love that you need to. This could even be talking about the 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 need, the awareness of the need to heal or to even just put that in energy back into yourself you know what you put out you've got to get back in too you know and it's kind of like you put things out there you bring a lot of focus and attention on what's external and you also have to bring a lot of attention into what's internal right so maybe this is taught this is like all of this creativity that is that is wrapped up and bound inside that is just that is just waiting to get out waiting to be expressed waiting to be shown you know it's kind of like when, when, you, when you perform an act of love or an act of kindness or you show someone that you truly do care, that actually is giving back to yourself too. You know, there's something that you can't, you can't synthesize that, right? So this is talking about the manifestation, the truth of a feeling, right? Venus is exalted in Pisces, okay? Um... Right, this is a 10, it reduces to a 1, so it's almost kind of like an opportunity as well. You know, there's there's like multiple opportunities to sort of like connect on a deeper level here, right? So you're having the opportunity, right? You're being given the opportunity to connect. It's going to take a lot of work to connect in the spiritual, compassionate way, right? But it is an opportunity nonetheless. Are you aware of that opportunity and how it's being given to you? The devil card came up again for you. I just shuffled the hell out of those cards, Gemini. So the devil card is here, okay? And this is talking about work as well. You know, the effort that it's going to take to get work done. The effort that it's going to take to show this love and show this compassion. And the effort that it's going to take to achieve something as well, right? On an emotional level. Oh my God, it's so it's so intense with the 10 of pentacles being a Pisces card and then the devil card being there trying to really bring the enforcement, you know, because the devil card is 15 and the, that's the enforcement of wanting to get a lot of things done, right? Because it refers back to Mercury, that card, uh, the lovers, right? Mercury was just in Pisces, okay? 
Now it's um, in Aries. So we're thinking about what we need to do. We're thinking about what we are, you know, focused on. You know, what's in front of us right now. Okay, Gemini, the high priestess came up and this is talking about the awareness of your intuition, right? This is something being revealed. This is the anticipation of something being revealed. This is also just understanding what it is that is being shown to you with this reveal. How are you connecting to it? This is on a very spiritual level. This is a connection that you are making. Pay attention to your dreams because your dreams could be showing you something, right? Also, this too is talking about compatibility factor, right? How compatible something might be, you know, information as well, you know, it, it could be how compatible is this information with what I've been picking up intuitively, right? Also, the high priestess, it's the moon and it's also Neptune, right? So this is talking about, you know, intuitively uh, wanting to create something or intuitively knowing that something will be revealed. So it's kind of like, what am I going to allow to occur, right, until this thing is revealed to me? Because there's things that are being processed right now, too. So it's kind of like, this is kind of like a wait, right? This is kind of like a waiting period here with the high priestess being here to see what does get uncovered before you take action, I feel like. Um you know, this is Neptune, so it could be talking about things not being clear right now, not being very uncertain. You know, the high priestess could be talking about things not being clear because it's, it's the moon and it's Neptune. The Ten of Cups could be talking about things not being clear right now because there are a lot of different wires that are being crossed right now, you know. And the devil could be talking about things not being unclear just because you don't really know your position. You don't really know where you are. You just know kind of where you feel like you are unable to move from, right? That's what the devil talks about, you know? Um, anyway, Gemini, uh, like, share, and subscribe. Comment on the video. Uh, if you'd like to get a reading with me, email ProvidenceTarotKendrick at gmail.com. I'm doing a 20-minute for $20 special. And I'm also thinking about maybe doing another reduced price for an even lesser amount of time but we'll we'll see if that actually um goes through all right gemini thank you so much and i will see you later